Hi guys, I'm Lorenzo from Cadaver Mutilator and you're listening to Metal Wani. Hello Lorenzo Reina, this is Sairaj from Metal Wani, how are you doing? And here, I'm preparing for uh, this interview. Uh, I have uh, here a lot, of, uh, um, a lot of notes on the other PC. Uh, for uh, Be sure to not have uh, a lot of problems in uh, translating in English. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's no problem at all, Lorenzo. Now, let's start by talking about your first performance in India that is going to be at Bangalore Open Air in a few days. So. How are you feeling about it right now and what are you expecting from the experience? Um, we, uh, um, uh, I can say that uh, this uh, will be our first time out of Europe. So we are mm -hmm. um, a lot, um, we are very excited about this. Okay. And uh, we are uh, curious uh, regarding expectation. We are very curious to see what kind of sheen we can uh, we can find uh, down there in India, and mm -hmm. we are also curious about uh, the uh, reaction of uh, Indians fans to our music. Oh, that's great, and I'm sure that uh, we Indian fans will love your brutal death metal. We have a lot of death metal going on in India, and I'm sure we love your music. Great, great. That will will be uh, sure a uh, great time down there. <laughs> Totally. Now, let's talk about your most recent album, Murder, Death, Kill. So, how are your fans receiving the album so far compared to, you know, the previous albums? Um, they, uh, the, the, the fans um, uh, loved that, that album because um, our first album uh, was Carnassium back in 2006 mm -hmm. and uh, that album was a pretty classic uh, Brutal Death Metal. Mm -hmm. Then um, the band starts to uh, do more complicated and chaotic things, I would mm -hmm. say um, defeated sanity style, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, then it was uh, too complicated to be uh, listened. So uh, we um, come back to a more lineal, but more brutal and uh, uh, with more impact style, we will okay. say. And um, uh, for example, we say we put uh, into the album more simple uh, riff, but mm -hmm. with more impact from the rhythmical section. So more drums, more speed on the drums, mm -hmm. and more linear uh, guitar uh, riffs. Being the new member of the band before the new album came out, how was the writing process for you and the rest of the band when it came to writing the album? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, a, this is a cool question because I I remember it was a, a total chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, the last one who joined the band mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I remember that the band had uh, a lot of uh, already written uh, riffs and uh, structures. Okay. So uh, my work as a new entry was to uh, insert as fast as possible all the drums. Okay. So uh, a very um, um, a very uh, speed and uh, a chaotic process of writing, but right. uh, at the end uh, we uh, we run to the, the studio uh, and uh, take down all the uh, all the parts and mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the the album was finished. Okay, that sounds really cool. Now, uh, are you going to go on any other tours besides Bangalore Open Air to promote the new album? Um, we uh, we just uh, we did uh, uh, two tours before uh, Bangalore Open Air. We um, we made a tour in uh, September 2013, mm -hmm. and um, in Northern Europe and uh, in uh, sorry in Northern Italy and uh, in Austria and Belgium. Okay. And then uh, last month in August, we so a few days ago, we come back from a tour uh, with uh, Doctor Gore and I breed to others uh, uh, very cool bands uh, from Italy uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Eastern Europe so you know Hungary Poland uh, um, uh, Slovakia so it, re it really looks like your album is reaching a lot of places isn't it yeah yeah um, we um, uh, using uh, um, with uh, uh, sorry 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 um, 
we uh, we uh, the album reached a lot uh, a lot of people um, both uh, via uh, via internet and both via uh, um, people uh, had the possibility to listen to us uh, thanks to the stores. You mentioned your uh, your presence on the internet. I have noticed your uh, Bandcamp profiles and Big Cartel profiles for all your stuff. So. How would you say that the internet has made it easier for bands like you to promote your music? Yeah, yeah, they um, this kind of of seeds uh, of uh, of uh, this kind of networks um, helps helps a lot. Uh, uh, I think every band to um, to be known by uh, as most people uh, as possible because you can uh, um, you can just link uh, an entire song put uh, um, in uh, as you said on Bandcamp, and so uh, the the person uh, can. Uh, listen immediately and uh, uh, make an idea of what, what kind of music you are you're doing very true now yes now let's talk talk a little bit about the music now uh, what are the main bands and musicians that have inspired your music you know from what i've heard you all really love american brutal death metal and kind of modeled the music after it Yes, in fact, um, the band take inspiration uh, from the uh, early American brutal uh, uh, style uh, with, uh, for example, um, uh, Tom Marcello uh, are, uh, are great, great fans of Cannibal Crop, Suffocation, Morbid Angel, and mm. Me Too. But uh, for example, we uh, give a look also to uh, more contemporary music uh, and the modern uh, brutal stuff from America and uh, also from other countries. Mm. For example, we uh, we loved band like uh, Origin, Aborted, Decapitated, Crisium, and mm. um, and so on, and so on. So on. Other, uh, other bands. Uh, that, that sounds like a lot of bands that you really love. Now le- let's talk a little bit about the lyrics, the lyrics that you write. So what would you say are the main inspirations behind that? You know, are there any sort of gory horror stories or real life events or any such things that inspire your, your lyrics? Um, we um, uh, we don't send, uh, we don't uh, um, take only one uh, element. We not have only one inspiration. We, um, for example, the lyric comes from different elements, like uh, mm-hmm. uh, as you say, the gore, splatter. Okay, okay. but uh, we take inspiration also from uh, sci-fi, ufology, uh, actuality, and uh, oh. in particular, we are very very influenced by our roots, our tradition here mm. in Sicily. For example, in some song in MDK, uh, we talk about uh, uh, some story that comes from mafia, from uh, uh, crimes, uh, in order to denunciate, to denunciate mm. uh, these, uh, these kind of problems of our country. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, this sounds really interesting, your, uh, your music's connection to Palermo, Sicily. Now, can, can you tell us what the metal scene is like in uh, Palermo and uh, Italy, where you come from? Yeah, yeah, um, okay. Um, here in Palermo, uh, in particular in Palermo, because uh, we need this, uh, uh, this stream uh, most, as, uh, uh, in particular, we, we live in Palermo, so we can t- uh, tell about Palermo. Palermo had a very, um, very cool uh, uh, underground metal scene. Uh, the people come to the concert, the people uh, uh, start uh, to, to listen to every kind of music, and in particular, uh, the bands um, make uh, uh, the bands think that it's more important to start composing new material right. um, besides of uh, do, for example, some covers. So we have a lot of bands in our little, little uh, territory here in, uh, in Sicily. But mm. uh, in general, uh, Italian chain is... Uh, um, is a very cool scene. We have a lot of bands, in particular in this kind of music, like mm-hmm. for example, uh, Art of Penance, Flesh Good Apocalypse, uh, Anthropophagus, uh, mm-hmm. um, Dr. Gore, Aedas Divinity, and so on. Right. A lot of uh, a lot of bands that uh, are formed by very uh, valid and talented musicians, mm-hmm. and uh, they are they are very they are very very cool, very very strongest name here. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, but uh, the thing is, you know, there are only a few big bands that the rest of the world hears about from Italy, and those bands include, you know, Lacuna Coil or Rhapsody of Fire. So why do you think the brutal death metal style hasn't broken out so much like Lacuna Coil or the other bands? I think uh, um, first uh, because of the thematic, the um, thematic of brutal death metal is uh, uh, something that is uh, um, uh, more m more uh, criticized here in Italy. So mm. you know here uh, with uh, the, the presence of the church uh, on the Vatican, so mm. everything that is uh, uh, too hard uh, is uh, uh, more underground. So uh, the the um, the most brutal, the most uh, uh, Mm, uh, the most gore is uh, the text, the text, the lyrics, uh, and also mm. the music. Uh, the more underground they remains. But uh, I can uh, um, I can see in these last periods that a lot of a lot of bands of this uh, kind of this kind of style, like for example, in fact, Hour of Penance and Flesh God Apocalypse, mm. uh, are uh, starting to be uh, more recognized uh, out of Italy. So this is uh, a very uh, very good aspect. So uh, something is growing, something uh, is uh, going better here in Italy. Mm. That sounds really amazing. Now, uh, just well, just one more thing. You mentioned the Vatican and the Italian society. So, you know, uh, how, how much bad reaction have you faced so far for your music in Italy? Because I imagine it would have been a lot by this point. Uh, yeah, yeah, understood. Um, yeah, we had. Um, uh, I can uh, talk about, for example, our history. We have uh, um, a great, uh, great possibility of organize a very cool uh, metal uh, um, festival in Sicily. Mm. But a few days, uh, few days uh, before the show, uh, the um, uh, I don't know the English term, but the uh, the religious uh, uh, elements of that city uh, mm -hmm. tried to. To um, to um, uh, eliminate eliminate this uh, uh, this kind of festival oh. because of they they heard about Necrodet and about Christian uh, Christian uh, lyrics. So there is uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of problems like this. For example, uh, people don't don't uh, don't care about. Uh, um, um, don't care about uh, if uh, you do uh, cool music, uh, uh, great level uh, music, uh, but uh, if you uh, go out from uh, I don't know rock and pop uh, elements mm -hmm. and do uh, some uh, something more strong with lyrics, uh, you uh, are declassed in the underground uh, uh, situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You something know like something like that. I think uh, out of Italy is more easy to uh, accept uh, uh, this kind of style. Yeah, right. You know, I can really relate to that because I want to tell you one thing. There are a lot of Christians in India as well. And uh, mm. one, one Slayer album, one album by Slayer called Christ Illusion was actually yeah. banned, was actually banned from India because all the Christians protested against it. You will never be able to get a copy of Christ Illusion here in India. Did you know that? Oh man, no! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that, so, so that that was a very bad situation. <laughs> yes, and and the funniest part is in Bangalore Open Air, we are going to have a band that is literally called Rotting Christ. So imagine yeah. <laughs> how the Christians will react then. <laughs> uh -huh. We we will expect uh, a torch uh, p people with torch and uh, and swords <laughs> that uh, protest against uh, against uh, the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. So you know, uh, let's get back to the uh, India trip now. So you yeah, know, yeah, okay, okay. How, how much are you looking forward to sharing the stage with you know Rotting Christ and Destruction? You know, are you big fans of their uh, music? And uh, we had the opportunity to play with uh, both these great bands. Uh, for example, in uh, January of uh, last year, we of this year, we uh, played uh, in Palermo with Destruction, and uh, um, we are both uh, we played uh, time ago also with Rotting Christ. Mm -hmm. um, we think uh, uh, that uh, they are great bands with a lot of experience, and uh, we can't wait to play with them uh, again. <laughs> It uh, it was a good experience, and we expect another uh, another good experience uh, this time. 
Yeah, that sounds really cool. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm curious, have you ever heard any heavy metal music from India or any of the Indian heavy metal bands that are going to play with you in India? Mm, um, I, I, I'll be honest, no, I don't know, uh, and we don't know um, uh, um, a lot of bands uh, from India, so, so uh, we are very curious to hear what, uh, to hear their music and uh, hear uh, how they play, so um, for sure uh, they will shock us, because sometimes what uh, do you uh, don't know, what do you don't know um, is uh, the things that shock you more than others. So mm. I personally are very I'm very curious to hear to hear these bands. Yeah, very true, very true. Because you know some of our Indian bands have a lot of presence on the internet, like you guys have. Like for example, we have a band from Mumbai called Demonic Resurrection, and they share mm. their music uh, all over the internet. They use digital distribution. Now there is a band you can start on actually. Yeah, okay, okay. I will um, check it out uh, in these uh, in these days, for sure. Yeah, that would be really cool. Now, you know, to conclude this interview, what would be your one message to the fans of India who are going to see you at Bangalore Open Air? Tell us. Mm, so, one final message. Uh, get, ready, uh, get ready for a rush of brutal violence directly from Sicily. <laughs> we <laughs> can wait to be here. To be, to be, and there is two deals, eight days, mm. too much. Yeah, that sounds, yeah, <laughs> that, that, sounds re that sounds really brutal. I'm sure the fans of India would be very excited to hear you guys. Good, good. <laughs> now, yeah, th thank, thank you so much for talking to us, Lorenzo. I hope this has made you more pumped up about your visit to India now. Thanks. Thanks to you. Thanks a lot to you.